We all want to be that person who lights up a room with their charisma and keeps everyone engaged. But fear not, even the smoothest talkers start at somewhere.so. Let's crack the code on becoming a confident conversationalist with these 12 tips. Number 1. Be present. You wouldn't walk into a movie halfway through, would you? The same goes for conversations. Put down your phone, make eye contact like you genuinely mean it, and show the person you're giving them your full attention. Imagine you're at a party and see someone you've been meaning to meet, instead of scrolling through social media, put your phone away, make eye contact, and smile warmly as you approach them. Number 2. Ask engaging questions. Ditch the what do you do, snooze fest. People love talking about themselves, so craft questions that spark genuine conversation. Instead of the usual, try, hey, I saw you looking at the art exhibit earlier. What was your favorite piece? This opens the door for them to share their thoughts and interests. Number 3. Become a great listener. Don't just wait for your turn to speak. Truly listen to what the other person is saying, both their words and their body language. Show you're interested with follow-up questions and attentive nods. Let's say you're chatting with a friend about their recent trip. They mention a challenging experience. Instead of just saying, wow, cool, ask, oh no, that sounds tough. How did you manage through that? This shows you're engaged and care about their story. Number 4. Speak with confidence. Even if you're feeling butterflies, project your voice, maintain good posture, and avoid fidgeting. Confidence is contagious, and people are drawn to those who seem comfortable in their own skin. Take a deep breath before talking, stand tall with your shoulders back, and speak clearly. Avoid nervous habits like crossing your arms or looking down at your shoes. Number 5. Find common ground. Look for shared interests or experiences to connect with. This creates a sense of rapport and makes the conversation flow more naturally. You're at a work event and meet someone from a different department. Ask, what projects are you currently working on? Maybe our departments can collaborate on something similar in the future. Number 6. Be yourself. Don't try to be a clone of someone else. Authenticity is key. Let your personality shine through, your quirks and all. People appreciate genuine connections. You might be a bit of a movie buff. Don't be afraid to bring that up in conversation. Share your favorite films or ask the other person if they've seen anything good lately. Number 7. Tell interesting stories people love a good story. Share a funny anecdote, a personal experience relevant to the conversation, or something that showcases your personality. You're talking about travel and mention you once got lost in a charming Italian town. Briefly share that story, highlighting the funny aspects or the interesting people you met. Number 8. Be positive, focus on the good vibes. People gravitate towards those who uplift and inspire them. Avoid negativity or complaining, and keep the conversation light and enjoyable. The conversation might touch on a recent news story with a negative spin. Instead of dwelling on it, acknowledge it and then shift the focus to something more positive, like upcoming events or hobbies. Number 9. Embrace body language. Your body language speaks volumes. Use open gestures, smile genuinely, and make eye contact to show you're approachable and interested. Avoid crossing your arms or looking away. These can signal disinterest. Lean in slightly when the other person is talking to show you're engaged. Number 10. Be mindful of time. It's not a monologue. Give the other person a chance to speak and be aware of how much time you're taking. Remember, conversation is a two-way street. If you find yourself talking for a while, pause and ask the other person a question to get their thoughts and experiences in the mix. Number 11. End on a high note leave them wanting more. Thank the person for their time and express your desire to connect again. It shows you were interested in the conversation. As you wrap up the conversation, mention something specific you enjoyed discussing. For instance, it was great chatting with you, name, I especially enjoyed hearing about your experience with, mention a topic discussed. Maybe we can connect on LinkedIn and continue the conversation sometime. Number 12. Practice makes perfect the more you converse, the more confident you'll become. Don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone and strike up conversations with new people. Every interaction is a chance to learn and grow. Maybe talking to strangers at events seems daunting at first. 
Start small, ask the barista about their favorite coffee roast, or compliment someone on a cool outfit. The more you practice initiating conversations, the easier it will become, there you have it. With these 12 tips and a little practice, you'll be well on your way to becoming a conversation ninja. Remember, confidence is key, so don't be afraid to put yourself out there, and who knows, you might meet some amazing people along the way. Thanks for joining me today. I hope these tips help you become a conversation pro. If you have any questions or tips of your own, leave them down in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.